up y'all it's Queen Marty or whatever <coughs> he would do it right so hey what's up guys it's Queen Marty or whatever and today I'm here to do not your ordinary tag I don't know if anyone has done this before maybe I'm the first can't even act excited because I probably look clammy as hell but I'm here to do the sick tag I'm hella sick like I don't even know what's going on with me but it's just all up in here. And I'm going to share this with you guys because I'm bored and I'm just laying here to die. show you guys some things I do when I'm sick. Some things to comfort me. Some things I've learned from my mom when she used to take care of me when I was sick. God bless and all the moms. God bless and all the moms. I went to my Walmart to pick up some things that would hopefully aid me in this sickness that I'm having going on right now. I'm in Georgia, Atlanta. So... It's springtime, pollen is every freaking where, it's on your car, it's on you, it's on your fucking face, it's everywhere. We're going through that, holy shit, do I like put on a leather jacket one day, and then holy shit, do I need to put on some like shorts and a tank top. So basically, during this whole week, I've been doing both, and I think that's why I'm freaking sick. So, of course, knowing me, I should have been taking my allergy medicine like I usually do. But I didn't. I was being stubborn. So I just picked up some things that would hopefully aid me in this little sickness I'm going through. So I just picked up some things to hopefully get me back on track. Um, I just really picked up some fruits, first of all, because when I'm sick or when I really know I'm like coming down with something, I do not have an appetite. So I just picked up some bananas because they're my favorite. Um, something to munch on. Just put something on my stomach. Um you know, just to have some type of energy going on because I still have work and school to go to. And hopefully, I'll be up to par. I also have some good old oranges right here. Some oranges, hella bomb. I love oranges. I love orange juice too, but I can't really um, eat or drink that much acidic things because my stomach just won't tolerate it. So I used to drink orange juice all the time when I was little when I used to get like colds and things like that. My mom would always first off give me orange juice and then throughout the day give me like water or Gatorade. But I guess this could be my alternative to straight up orange juice just, just to eat an orange. So hella bomb anyway. Next, I just picked up some apples. Just something for me to munch on again. Fruits, I love fruits when I don't have an appetite. It's like on the stomach, and then I can take any type of medicine I want with fruits on my stomach. Walking into my kitchen, opening the freezer, you will find popsicles that I also bought on my haul. It's the Outshine Simply Yogurt Bars, and they are so good. Especially because I don't have an appetite, I like to just eat something cold. So it's definitely something that I like to have on site when I'm sick. <coughs> <coughs> oh shit, oh shit. Moving along, I just got some medicine to hopefully make me feel better. <laughs> Jesus. So, first of all, Flonase. This is usually something I actually use year round, and I've recently ran out, and I think that's kind of why it has made me sick. So, Flonase is really good for people who have allergies or are prone to getting like allergy colds or stuff like that, especially during the pollen season when pollen is freaking everywhere. Um, Flonase is definitely for you. Take it year round. You won't be sick like me. Next off, I got some hauls. Um, I just picked up some today because hoes in class acted like I was fucking a monster looking at me half crazy when I would cough. And I know my cough sounds freaking awful or whatever, but that's not the point. So, I got these hauls. I like the Intense Cool. I like the Intense Cool because it really takes away my cough um, temporarily. So I like the hauls, I take them to class with me. So girls won't be like, oh my god, Ashley, she's totally contagious. Like, bitch, I may be, but your ass didn't have to sit by me. Next, I just picked up some vitamins because now I feel like I need to take some vitamins because I'm freaking sick and I need to get on a freaking health kick with my unhealthy ass. So I'm sorry, y'all cuss a lot. I just realized that half of this video is going to be like cursing. Anyway, I got some multivitamins by Vitafusion. I don't know, I didn't really look it up at the reviews on it on these vitamins. I just know beforehand I used to take them a lot. My mom used to buy them for me and they taste like freaking gummies. Gummy fruit snacks. They're the gummy complete multivitamin gummy. Um also on my mini stick haul, I bought a Vicks humidifier. It's great to use when it's congested or when you're sick. 
Also, it is great to use even when you're not sick just to keep the environment in the room misty if you like that. Next, I've already had these like in my cabinet. And I'm just taking like the Tylenol cold flu severe um, thing or whatever. And because I'm feeling like most of my sickness in my chest anyway, I have like a really, really strong cough. It says, it was highlighted right here, mucus and chest congestion. So I picked this up um, and hopefully it'll like stop my cough, which it doesn't seem to be doing um, yet. But I picked this up. Hopefully, aiming in that. Second, I already had this for a while, just a cold and flu. Um, and trust me, people, like, look at your expiration dates with your medicines. Because I know I keep medicines for a while in the cabinet from, like, previous sicknesses. I don't just throw them away. But you need to check your expiration dates to make sure you're taking good quality medicine while you're trying to feel better. But anyway, I just got this cold and flu, daytime, multi-symptom, non-drowsy, um, medicine especially for when I'm before I'm going to work or while I'm at work if I start coughing again I can take this while I'm at work and hopefully it doesn't make me sleepy because I get sleepy just like this with any type of medicines I take I'm not good with medicine it just makes me knock out and KO for like three days straight um, I got this Vicks vapor rub that I've had for a while in my, cab in my cabinet and this stuff is bomb like I've grown up on this stuff my mom has always use something and no she did not make me eat it off a spoon that's disgusting first of all and then i have a separate story for that like a man used to like ingest this stuff and they literally had to like open his stomach because he had a clump of it in his freaking stomach so i'll freaking ingest this this is disgusting this is not for digestion ingestion digestion your stomach cannot digest this if you ingest it Thing. So I don't freaking lick this off a spoon. It's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. Don't do it. Anyway, this fix vapor of it like really cools. It's like a cooling um, menthol sensation. I personally love the smell. Some people really can't stand it, but I've grown up with it. It's always helped me. If you just rub this on your chest, it feels really good. And then what my mom used to do, which sounds dangerous, but it used to help. She used to take like a like a small towel like wrap it up really tight put it in the microwave for maybe like 10 seconds take it out and it's like really heated while this is on your chest put it on your chest and it's so warm and then you just get the smells it makes you feel so bomb and good things that can help you taking a warm hot shower like especially if you're congested like me like you can hear it all in my throat all in my nose my voice taking a hot shower sometimes um alleviates the tight nasal congestion you have or chest congestion which is hella bomb because i need that right now i'm probably gonna do that but guys it's the struggle so people won't think i'm freaking disgusting like i i use my scars to like cough in or i'll use my like, shoulder another thing sick etiquette like come on man like freaking cough in your freaking shoulder like this well what is this in your arm cough in your arm like this <laughs> It's disgusting. I hate when people just walk around. <coughs> <coughs> like, no, that's not how you freaking be courteous to others. You don't cough in the air and spread your germs. You cough in your freaking arm so you can be sick. And sneezing, do not sneeze with your hand like this. A chew, that's not cute, bitch. No, take that away. What you do is you cough in a tissue. The handkerchief thing, I don't like that. Like, it's just a build of germs in a freaking one handkerchief no throw that shit away I, it's just for the birds quack quack or like no don't do that take some freaking tissue keep it with you a chew in that or like you know even if you don't have a tissue near you don't a chew in the air you know like freaking um what is it called freaking sneezing you know how far that shit travels like don't do that sneeze in a tissue or like sneeze in your arm keep that shit to yourself keep your germs with you don't carry that shit around. But anyway, guys, hope you guys semi enjoyed my sick tag or my sick day haul. 
Um, it was something really random that I just thought of that I wanted to do and I don't know if anyone else has done it But I will totally credit you if you have done it before um, So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys aren't sick as well um, I know people at my university and people at work are freaking disgusting and they're freaking sick That's probably where I got it from even though I try to keep myself as clean as possible and washing my hands But hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you guys feel better if you're sick. So bye my dog's drinking water and he's loud.